In this video we're going to look at how to find the sum to infinity of a geometric series. So a sum to infinity will exist if the common ratio is less than 1 but greater than negative 1. And the reason for this is that each new term in the series in terms of magnitude is going to get closer and closer and closer to 0 until such point where um, the change to the sum of the series so far is negligible. So um, if I want to find the sum to infinity of a series, the formula I want to use is actually very straightforward. It's s uh, to infinity is equal to uh, a over 1 minus r. So let's um, use it for this sequence. So the sum to infinity for this first sequence, so the first term is 3, common ratio is 0 0.3, so 3 over 1 minus 0 0.3 and I can evaluate that and I get an answer of 30 over 7 so the more and more terms I add to this sequence it's just going to get, or this series, it's just going to get closer and closer to 30 over 7 um, but it cannot exceed that value So question two, exactly the same approach again. So we've got the sum to infinity here is equal to a being um, two over one minus r, so one minus a quarter, or should I say one minus negative a quarter. So again, I can evaluate that. So two over one subtract negative a quarter and that gives me three fifths. Third question, um, same approach, but this time I need to work out A and R for myself. So the start term A is six. The common ratio um, can calculate it by doing two divided by six, two thirds divided by two and so on, but um, should be quite easy to spot, it's a third in this case. So the sum to infinity is equal to a over 1 minus r. So it's 6 divided by 1 minus a third, which is therefore 9. And then one final time, same approach again. So a is equal to a quarter, and r, again I can do this by calculation, um, but I can see from here to here quite clearly uh, it's being multiplied by 4 and multiplied by 5 on the denominator, and then by 4 and 5 again on the denominator. The common ratio is 4 fifths. So the sum to infinity is a quarter divided by 1 minus 4 fifths. and that gives me 5 over 4 which is the sum of this particular series